Testing, sound. Oh, we have four new bosses here. Saga Frontier bosses. Chow down. Oh, there's four different events here. <laughs> Let's wait for people to join us. Let me see. The camps aren't the same as before. Engineer cars here on the back. <laughs> the currencies are the same with one added. Exchange for 4,000 jewels and stuff that we already saw before. Get a total of 40 Kojis. Rewards, no limited styles as always. Nameless is here. Morning. Morning, Nameless. Let me check here the event. Limited supply. I see. So we get at least the amount to get the free gems. And after that, it's just the same shop. Midnight Baker is here. Welcome, Midnight Baker. So I guess it's a raid event with different weaknesses. Arachne is weak to Pierce. Huh. I want to see one that's weak to Blunt. This one is weak to what? Oh, the same thing again. Oh, it's weak to three things. Slash, Shadow and Lightning. Or about Slash and Shadow. Hello, Solid Snake. Oh, this one is weak to four different elements. <laughs> Seems like we can just use all characters in the game. In a way or another, and black should be weak to what now? Blood? And black is weak to blood? I see, I imagine it's the only one left. Lightning and heat. Heat! We can finally use spoken a raid boss. It's been a while. We got him, but uh, no many content was just weak to heat, was just weak to sun most of the time, and barely any content weak to heat. So, uh, I need to check to see which characters are actually featured. I hope that all of them are. Shout down, okay. Oh no, man, no. It's still the same characters. Romancing Saga 1, Saga Frontier 1, and Saga 1. Hey, Mario, welcome. How are you, my friend? Working today? Oh no, it's not that good. Well, at least they are weak to characters that belong to Saga Frontier 1. So, Blunt should be easy anyway. <laughs> Getting ready for work. How much time you have? 55 minutes or something? It's gonna make a build here where... Years, years, blunt, blunt, person, one, losses. I think this was for the past event. This one has what? For news or... Oh my god, just so many, 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 many builds. I think I removed the story once. Yes. No, no what? Hey Doug, welcome as well. How are you? So, uh, this one is weak to what? Again? Blunt and... Uh. <laughs> Blunt, heat and... Lightning. It's just a mess, Doug. The weaknesses are a mess. Blunt, heat and lightning. Hey, Skady, Aquatic Rat. Hello, good night. I hope this event's time to shine for Elephant. <laughs> it will be. Marty's here. Hello, hello, Marty. Welcome. Blunt, Lightning, and Heat. Let's do this. But if we consider only the characters that are featured, let's see what we will appear. Saga 1, we're missing Saga 1. Blunt. Lightning and heat. Okay. 
I was talking about setting up my lightning squad against him. <laughs> but you don't get all the uh, status gains just for the same characters, just Saga Frontier 1, Saga 1, and Romance Saga 1. So we to Blunt, Shadow, and Heat. The bad part about Saruin is that you have to get the Inheritance attack. Oh no, there's something wrong here. Wait. Blunt, Heat, oh yeah, Blunt, Heat, and Lightning, so no. Rofus is a go. Emilia is a go as well. A fuse. Mm. I think fuse is cool. This is cool too. Uh, red or Eliza? I don't believe that they would just do similar damage anyway. Red. And in the back, Dol. Well, Dol for fun because. <laughs> oh, yeah, blue. Blue, of course, Waking Dragon. To be honest, which cards will we be using here, guys? Too many gunners. Deadly Pierce with uh, blue in the back. Maybe. Hello, Capivara. Welcome. The Mantrak bonus is also usable. Yes, Matriarch Banner. Uh, I don't have this characters yet, only... Oh, it's weak to Lightning too, right? If it's weak to Lightning too, we can use... Uh, Vassalt. can use Vassalt. Well, let's talk about using these characters here in a... Deadly Pierce X formation. We're gonna have her here. Rufus here. Uh, he can be on the front. Hello, Tepuin. Welcome. There are three gunners here. I do have three guns. That's good. Let's see. Fitted armor to everyone. The best one for damage. Actually, now we have at least uh, mastery gloves. And then we have the fitted helms. Three cards are equipped. Now there's red. Power suit. Sears and the Pumpkin Ring. I need to sell some of my accessories, man. I have too many. And is this good? I'm not so sure. I have Assault and Rook. I'll try Rook in a few. First, let's do this. Rook, we need a very different setup. Bullet dance. Uh, and after that, sunlight. The problem with bringing blue is that he will start healing instead of doing damage. <laughs> this is his problem. But at least to the Saga Frontier team. I have 6,000 tickets. Then we'll bring Brute later. With the Rainbow Rangers. You can use the other blue. Yes, the other blue. Damage difference won't be that high. It resists slash part. Haha, <laughs> he sparkling missed it. My team and Rook miss it. Rook miss it? <laughs> that ain't good, man. Ah, I see the buffs dexterity. So maybe March Award is a better here because if he debuffs dexterity for then, it doesn't. 
change anything. Defy weakness. Oh yeah, man. Three turn damage. That's it. Now I guess I know what happens. <laughs> Blue is just wasting time. Moon Scrapper. Yeah. Kill it on three turns. That's why I was saying that Rofus is not that powerful for this type of raids. We don't know. They are already dispelling us. <laughs> In a way or another, yes. I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I believe that... Oh, we got... Tickets and gold pieces already. I guess we should bring some good strong characters instead of just focusing on the ones that are featured. Let's make something just about power now. Bigger chance of getting gold pieces. That's better. Doll. <laughs> Let's make another one. Now I'm making Rainbow Rangers. They're finding alternatives to stop us. <laughs> buffing. <laughs> the buffing works. Well, Rook has to be part of this. Popella is cool as well. I was talking about bringing Rook. Rufus is not exactly that strong. Maybe instead, let's bring Amazon Raid X. More gold pieces. Ah, <laughs> we need this. They're di already dispelling us. I will build a set of teams entirely around any, of course. You need that Mimi team, right? If, you're s if you don't need it. <laughs> I still need gold pieces. Always. Always need. With Amazon Raid X, we will need to use... Hmm. Actually, Rook does not need to be on the front. I'm not so sure. If I get Rook in Copelia... He's also weak to lightning, right? Una Fulgar. I don't know what to do now. Well, Bertrand is actually pretty strong here. Who am I using? Mandolin and Media. There's some mistake here. I cannot bring a Media uh, Mandolin together unless I build something like Amazon Raid Act, like I was talking. At least a quick clear on auto. Yeah, we don't need to help. It's not conquest, so three turns is the best thing we can do. We don't need to debuff it, we just need to do as high damage possible. Yeah. You have to be a medium man. I'm gonna bring Madeline on the block position. How about bringing Copelia?
More like Khalid time. Yeah, and you Khalid will work well here. Slop and I'm missing. Lightning squid time. You're right. It's good time for squid damage. But then... I have to remove Bertrand. Bertrand also does plenty of damage. But only for one turn, right? Rock will do for three. The strongest agility position here would be Lies, I believe. But she needs to stay on full HP or not? Let me see. No, she doesn't. Maybe let's keep Lies all then. Also, we need to see if we need more than 700,000 or even more than 1 million. This is important. Load all hair clip. You guys saw the video I posted about Rook and Rufus? Who here saw that? Took me two days to make. Mastery gloves. Super charm. Liza. Full HP. Gift under kick to Liza. <laughs> Why? Just because you won, right? Ah, uh, let me change this. Rook can just use Celestial, that, that's good. Now, kick silvers and pump picking. Rock full HP, hmm. As long as she attacks before, it's okay. You saw that, Capimara? Thanks. You watch it as well, Tipu, and thank you. Yeah, we have a team. We have a team. Just have to change the VP cycles and everything. Let's leave it like this. Okay. No, no, in her case, I would just inherit bullet dance. Okay, we are good to go. How many damage will get this? Share inherit squids. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Thanks, Mutan. <laughs> you saw it in about time. Queens are inherited now. I think the remaining stuff is okay. You should have seen that Rope was also buffed Dax to the party on that video. Don't I say that in some point? I think I did, but I cut parts of my video so I sometimes forget. I did say in some point, I'm not so sure if it's on the final version. But people already know that, right? But it's only 10% for, well, it lasts for 4 turns, one of the last turns, 2.5% only. Ah! Stunning my characters, attacking before me! But it was a good video. Thanks. Emerald. Take that. Four hundred and twenty-seven on turn one. That's good. Both draw right now because he just attack it. Full of gore. He wants to kill the elephant. The five weaklings. Remove buffs. Finally. <laughs> 
Finally, they're cleansing our buffs, guys. That's not cool. That's not cool. Ah, take your counter, then. <laughs> that ain't cool, man. That ain't cool. The time has finally come. The time where bosses now remove our buffs. That's why I say they are dispelling us. <laughs> The squad just got destroyed by turn 3. So let's count how many drops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 drops here. Ah, we get S styles of Andromache. Let's see if we get more. The spell means remove buffs. Bye bye, Marty. Marty or Matriarch? No way out, I guess. No buffs, no debuffs. <laughs> just die already. <laughs> I guess in black it seems like it's better to just bring Rainbow uh, Rapid Stream since he's just extremely fast. <laughs> it's a cyborg. Amaro. Ah! <laughs> it's sad that he's extremely fast. He's evading. Oh, Rook. What is happening to you? The game is changing, guys. The game is changing. For better or for worse. Still no winning anymore? No, no, no. Winning is not allowed. Forgot to change the VP cycle of her. <laughs> it's not like it's gonna matter anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, at least we got 700,000. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. I must die. <laughs> oh no, man, that's too much. Now we need bosses that remove abilities from the carrots like the reduce the damage from Glorg. <laughs> Don't give them ideas. And we're supposed to do at least 700,000. Seems so. Yes, I got 10 drops here. Good times, Aller. <laughs> you want to have some fun? Here's your fun. <laughs> Let me remove your buffs. You want to survive more? You want to evade? Of course. Have this fun here. <laughs> But the question is, is it just with this boss or all bosses are like that? Barva. Okay, Barva, what are you weak to? People are gonna start letting the app with this shenanigans. Yeah, they just release it a character that buffs the party and they just negate the character on the same hand. <laughs> you know the best part? Blue Princess White Rose is better than Halloween Princess White Rose. Ah, uh, if we invalidate the, the, the buffs? Yeah. But why would you use Halloween Princess White Rose or even Christmas White Rose on this event here? Cold Lightning and Sun. What's the name of this guy? Burva. Cold Lightning and Sun. Kawaz is directly influenced in the game. Like I said on the squad, he is Dungeon Master from Hell. <laughs> Code Lightning and Sun, guys. Yeah. He's a Dungeon Master. <clears throat> Old Lightning Sun. Madeline again. A good character for Cold is Hyundin. Because she can revive, and we may need that. Cold Lightning Sun, the last one, should be Empress, of course. 
Where is Empress here? It's being alive. Well. Not that much. Other one is Final Emperor should be good, but I, I don't know. I, look, I cannot fit him anymore. Actually, I think that he's gonna be better than Madeline to just survive a little more. Let's bring something that can survive a little more. Well, what we have here? I guess we're gonna run Amazon Raid X. Yeah, I guess this is cool. I wanna see if we get more than 10 drops, that's why I'm running this. Imagine if that's possible. And it might as well be. Well, let's not give the best thing to Liam because... They are better characters. The Emperor was here just for his cycle. He has a good cycle. And Prez also has a good one. Air clip. Last one is Matriarch. She also has a good cycle for this. Now we give Takazaki. Well, at least we are with two slash here. Oh, well, no worries. We'll see about that. Mario Hardy, okay, I can focus on the stream now. How's the new content? Is it challenging? Is it super challenging, Mario Hardy? But at least it's raid, so even if you die, you win. At least. Also, the best thing is to remove your full HP stones, but I'm too lazy. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, Empress goes as she is, and then um, I guess uh, I would just use one Shining Glory and then stick to Light Strength Lunge anyway. Uh, she's not gonna change her cycle. This one keeps the same. Oh yeah, and there's something about Yundin. We increase Ice Skyland turn to 12. That's okay. Oh, cool, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's so cool. Even if you die, you win share to Dawson 22. <laughs> it's so funny. It reminds me of a phrase here in Brazil from our past president. That became a meme. That was just like that. Even if you lose, you win. When everyone loses, everyone wins. And if you win, you, you lose, but you still win. <laughs> Man, I don't know how to translate that, but she <laughs> was just so funny with that phrase. Let's see if we can get more than 600,000. I'll go to the bathroom and go back soon while we run this.
Okay, not looking good for the Romance in Saga 2 squad. No, big oof for Leon there. What happened? He died? Damage was not good, guys. Not good. The fire weakness. Did they remove my buff as well? Never mind, they're gonna eat. All the gimmicks of this boss is that he won't shot you. <laughs> Even with Fighter Impress, man. Even with Fighter Impress. What happened here? Oh, I miss it. He smacked Leon. <laughs> Let's see it again. Never mind. Bring your pin and for news. It's not enough damage in three turns, Kavivara. Is this funny? Do the devs get uh, some laughs when they make this type of stuff? Do they watch live streaming suffering? What is happening? He's <laughs> 20,000 only per hit. Oh, what's the endurance of this enemy? <laughs> 2 point eight thousand. <laughs> How much endurance does this enemy have? Let's use that. <laughs> Wait. We barely do damage, man. Barely. He has a defense buff as well. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Shoes are just shadow weak. Hey, let's check other bosses then. Shoes are just one shot rock <laughs> and fire <the fly> weakness. <laughs> oh man, what a shed. What are they doing? They, they are laughing on our behinds. They are laughing. I, I'm sure. This this is a playground for them. Shoozer. Let's see you, Shoozer. Well, that's what's next on the agenda. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is not fun. <laughs> Hi, Hashimitsu. Welcome. Ah, oh, man. It's weak to what? Shadow and one... what else? <clears throat> so that's gonna bring Saru in. He's gonna take a hit, right? Let's bring Saru in. Shadow and Slash. What did you miss? You missed me getting stomped. By enemies. Wish we can auto impress shoot. Yeah, we can, man. Saddling with rock. Well, Saruin will get to be on the lock position instead. Hmm. Sif. I like Sif. Now, an agility position for Shadow. What can we use here? Fun in this game is always equal to annoying. This game has come earlier. Final Fantasy Brave Axis early stages, except for the lack of chains and guard. The games are pretty different, in my opinion. The character uses agility slot here. 
No one. No character gets stronger with agility and use slash. Well, <laughs> boss. This boss, not even. Yeah, no character of mine can do this. Oh, cat! <laughs> her, her status are just so terrible. Oh, Gwen! Why not Gwen? Yeah, let's use Gwen. Boston or Leonid? Leonid. Oh, well, ah, Rock. Let's bring Rock as well. Let's do this. Oh, instead of Rock, do we keep Saruin or do we bring Rock? I'm gonna bring Saruin and then bring Leon, since it's also weak to Slash, right? Increase sword damage by 10%. Rainbow? Get it here. Then here. Yes, that should be good. Our boss is one stage fight. Good for farming status. Yeah. You die, you win. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter if you get too high damage or not. As long as you finish the fight by losing. You still win. Power suit. No, actually no. Power suit will be for Gwen. Genjis. They seem to be super strong. What are they doing? I should also check the, the damage type of the boss, but I'm not checking yet. Silver Charm, it's okay. Now Gwen should be using... I really need some other stones on my martial arts weapons. Starting to hate full HP stones because sometimes I really don't need. And within time we see more and more raid content. Well, I have to equip him like a mage. But I'm not so sure if it's a good idea or not, because... I don't know if this boss uses spell attacks or not. If he uses spell attacks, why don't you just bring rock, even if you just decrease damage once? We'll see about that. If you're getting stomped, I won't try this until tomorrow. <laughs> I'll make a video tomorrow. But yes, I'm getting stomped. Never mind, we need the damn tickets to fight. And yes, can finally use Aldora and Nauno's combo. I have to check the Gwen setup. Wait. And Saruin. Why are you going intelligence on Saruin? Because his skill for inheritance is intelligence or not. I don't remember. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yeah. It's not. Forgot about that. So let's remove Sif and get uh, Rock. Yeah, I never use it obliterate up to this point. I never use it. The first time I'll be using for real. Okay. You're right. Now we bring Rock. We change the AVP cycle of Wayne. <clears throat> also, let's increase the second skill so he does not get in the way. <clears throat> now, instead of Sif, we bring Rock. Uh, we just use her as she is. I will not inherit the squid attack. <sighs> we are right.
Sorin does not work, I'll just bring Sif. It's not bad. This guy does not use a spell. Ah, oh, he does. I'm not so sure if it's spell based it, but we'll see. Is Rufus trash yet? No. Who said that? <laughs> One shot! Exactly the amount of HP we can reach now. 1.600. 1.6000. Sorry. Well, the good part. We managed 500,000 in a single turn. Not so bad, huh? Not so bad. Buff break, the fire weakness. You only need to replace Bahamut for endurance debuff. Well, yeah. Not so sure if it's needed, but he can replace, yes. <laughs> Deflect. Defy weakness again. I didn't even debuff him. Why is he so afraid of being debuffed? He didn't even reach 700,000. It's all about turn 1 damage. Past turn 1 is all a disaster. Good name for a troll, yes. Yes. Hi, Zach. Why? Why did I farm it so many tickets for this event? Because it's fun. It's fun to see your characters dying on the screen. It's fun to get one shot right from the start. <laughs> Uh, why would it not be fun? Just to get annihilated. <laughs> what you can inherit with Brock is... Um... No, racking would not make much difference. Um... It's that 5vp black light thing. Man, Annie is alive, everyone is dead. She does not hit in black weaknesses. And he will remove her buffs, so... It will not help too much to use Amy anyway. Good on her surviving to turn 8. She survived on her own status then. Sure is a masochist. I, I, because I'm playing this game, you are also one. They are a little hard, but at least the missions are only 700,000. Ah, I get it. They, they knew it. Do bosses have different draw pools, or can we fight whatever we like after the gens rewards? We can fight wherever we like. If you have the other Boston from Fornius Banner, you can use him for Slash on turn 1. Another one that you can use is Human Female. Obliterate is nice, huh? Seriously, this stuff needs an edit button. Why? He doesn't have any abilities, I wanted to check this. He also has gliding spikes, but his one is pierce. Oh, this is going to be a pain getting 700,000 Burva. 3,000 damage, guys. It's fun. It's super fun. <laughs> Sarumi is still alive. <laughs> Not for much. 
Not for much. Close to 700,000, but not quite. So close yet, too. Yeah. Okay. What are they doing to us? What about the next boss? Let's check it. <laughs> Let's go suffer. <laughs> Let's everyone suffer together. Arachne. What's this Arachne? Pronius is missing in the Arachne fight. Uh, if nothing works, guys, I will just bring a survive setup. I don't care. Let's fight for long. Arachne is only weak to fears. Hmm. But this brings me some good ideas. Only weak to fears, right? We have Xeno. Maybe they're confusing us for JP. <laughs> yeah, maybe they are using the same status. Your for news is missing on the Karakne fight. And you mean this for news? Is he training? The newest matriarch should be very good here, but I don't have it yet. Claudinha? <laughs> Claudinha. In Brazil, Claudia it's, um, can also be a nickname for Claudinha. Mikhail? It's gonna be the last one. Dark. Claudinha. Let's use Claudinha. And you and the guy on Taiwan's stream got 750,000. He call, acted like he did a good job. It was a bad sign. You mean uh, recently? Or back on the release of this? That's gonna work like this. Claudio. <laughs> Doug says, yeah, when they were showing the preview of the Mama Banner, they had a preview of the fight. Lobo is easy, if anything, this is a taste of JP. I'm okay with the hard difficulty, but guys, do they need to push this much? Do they? Yes, I got a little spoiler. I also checked the, the defenses that I need to bring here later. Well, Xenon can use a full HP. Because he negates damage on turn 1 anyway. Silver Charm. Okay, you can use the other one. Fitted armor and fitted helm with another silver charm. No, oh my god, we don't have enough hackers here. So we're gonna remove Darky. Marching we say Claudinho. <laughs> no, you guys are making jokes. I cannot use another happier user because the weapon is just bad. I'm all man truck in. She buffs the party. Yeah, it's cool. Man truck using man truck armor. Makes sense, right? Thousands. Let's get her um, bumping ring. For news, gonna use something similar. I think can bring Genji to increase her slash resistance. I don't even know if the enemy uses this. 
For last... Plural, her clip. At least for news as fast, right? Oh yes, they will. For sure, take away our buffs more often. Yes, they will. Buff break is a move we might see again in future romancing fight. It's okay if it's not on all bosses. Because sometimes we have to use buffs, sometimes we have to use the buff, and things like that. It's okay. No, 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 I forgot to inherit something. Have every three shots, and also have to cycle the right skill for Xeno. Have every three shots, Xeno will use his L Logi. Yeah, that's right. And then after that, just gonna use light speed. Everything else is okay. Gonna get Aqua Lunge. We can also use Minerva, but I'm not so sure if it affects anything. I'm gonna test it later. Minerva can be used instead of Matriarch. Gonna use Verson Tree Matriarch, Ferdinand for news, Need Art, and that's about it. I have for Pierce, I think. Yes, for news, new skins, fast. Yes, that's why I am trying to use that. Jason Thomas says Black and remove your squad buffs. Cleans will be like the five weaknesses when they remove the buffs from themselves. Yeah, cleans implies removing the buffs. Dispel is removing buffs. Yeah, dispel in Final Fantasy means removing your buffs. They didn't do much damage. And this attack does not remind me of a single target attack, it reminds me more of an AoE one. Paralyzes. Oh, nice. Four hundred thousand. We got more than that, Builder Squads. Sleep. We are doing almost the total HP we can get. 1.4 thousand. No, 2.2 thousand. That's not good. Share, sure, remember that Mama can now use a Acupuncture Plus for the people who don't have Minerva. You were right. Yes, she's a better Acupuncture Plus user. Because she still buffs 5% damage, decreases 5% damage as well. I don't remember if I trained her Acupuncture Plus, I think I didn't. So, not enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That was so much for that good idea. Did it really help? I don't know which one is the weakest one of them all. This one has status effects, so I don't think we should aim. Only has one weakness as well. But let's get that uh, acupuncture plus. Let me see if my matriarch has it. And if it would change anyway. No, no, level one. Let me replace her for Minerva just to see. Maybe Nadar can help. I don't have Nadar. But maybe he can. He just won't do much damage. You see that it's almost impossible to survive for more than three turns unless it's a character that's just very evasive. <laughs> like someone was saying that he can miss the attack and he just missed it. And there will miss as well. Oh, she did it. Arachne and Black are not my targets. I'll have to find another one. You just have to hide agility. They will change the uh, currency formula pretty soon, they said with the next update. 
So maybe with the next update we won't miss anymore. Now that boss removes buffs, it will be hard to make squads that can last very long. No more light speed, light speed plus cheese. Yes. Unless you're running a uh, formation like Happy Stream. And you can uh, debuff then and buff yourself before the attack each turn. Still not good. So, yeah, forget about Arachne and forget about M Black. You get to find another boss. Those are too problematic. Shara, I wanted to thank you for bringing up the Octopath Traveler mobile game because if it was not for you, I would not know that it existed. Oh, yes, Zink Burrito. I was trying to play that game today, but it does not run on emulator. I heard some people saying that it runs on LD player, but I was trying to make it run and couldn't. But I'll try a little more and if I can make it run, I'll do videos for it later. But are you playing already? Okay, so it's either Chooser or Burva. Let's check which one of them has different attacks. Well, Burva, I think Burva is also very hard. But Burva is more about blunt damage. So we can kinda resist him. If we focus on a single thing. What about the other boss? Oh, and black is about what? Let me see. I am, and it's freaking awesome. Oh yeah, nice. Nice that you're having fun. Look, and black attacks with all types, so forget about in black. And Burv attacks with blunt. What about him? Um, Schuzer. Schuzer attacks with all types. Yeah, guys, we should focus on fighting against Burva. Arachne attacks with what? <laughs> all types, almost all types. So okay, okay. We should focus on Burva. We'll find uh, a good strategy for Burva. You just have to bring characters that resist Blunt. He also attacks with some, but I don't even know if it's full damage. Let's enter this just to check. We bring characters that resist Blunt, that have high damage output, and... We'll probably survive this. Tiger Break brings Sun. It's only one attack. All their attacks are just blunt. Yeah, this is the enemy that we we're gonna face. Also, let's see if we can inflict some stuff. Troll has stun. Medium chance. Tackle. Stun as well. Oh, he can inflict lots of stun. He also has defense boost. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a problem with this guy. He has defense boost. Knockout as well. Knockout. Not so sure if he's the easiest one. Shower may be better because uh, Burva have endurance buffs and have a higher power. Yeah, it was against him that I was barely doing damage, right? Shower. <laughs> you need to take a shower, Capivara. They will probably still give us easy bosses, but Romancy is probably gonna get harder from now on. I agree. <laughs> Auto crack, please. <laughs> so it's he's the only one that gets wired up. You said Schuzer. Schuzer attacks with two types. Is that right? No, he attacks with three types. I don't know. Well, let's try at least once against Burva. Uh, now focusing on decreasing blunt damage. I remember that he was the only party that I brought Final Impress and I still took lots of damage. Let's run this again. Maybe Red can just <laughs> surpass him on a rapid stream formation, who knows? <laughs> we 
cannot even hit the enemies. My Metra is fully maxed. <laughs> She's fully maxed. She's over capping. <laughs> Not so shining glory. <laughs> yeah. Those days are long gone. More like gently sparring all of you. Well, uh, I have a answer to this. This answer is rapid stream. The enemy is weak to what again? Cold, lightning, and sun. Is that right? Let me see. He also can buff his own SCR. Oh my god. There was only one boss that can attack with two types. This attacks with one times, and the other ones attacks with three. Cold, lightning, and sun. And heat as well. Hi, Cher and Shad. I'm using Deadly Pierce Formation. Just stop missing. Also, in Captured Styles. I use it that as well, Jungle. It was working. The only one that didn't miss. Boston used some damage. <clears throat> I'm gonna use this Madeline here instead. Uh, let me filter by agility as well. Sort by agility. It's gonna bring the characters that can do good damage and have high agility. And Xenom. The learn agility is pretty high. I know it was just that high. He can also do some damage, but then after that, no, no, no. Do we have a full party here? Garyu, Wayne, Boston, Madeline. Gonna check this. Boston. Boston with lobster mayo. But Hiram's shoes that exactly high wheels. <laughs> Boston must feel offended. Boston is genderless, right? He should not feel offended. Then get Ryu. Well, now I don't know what to do here. Oh, yeah, I have to remember that equipments that resist blunt should be used. Blunt, look on this, Madeline. She suffer. I think my screen guard is broken. Why? Kill this being MFP for you. <clears throat> I don't have her. But I can see that. 
I can see that. So, we're gonna go, that's light speed and enlarging. Again, Ryu can use his hybrid graph just fine. Ah, his gliding spikes is not uh, strong here. Let's remove Gwen. Forgot about that. What is uh, Yunjinis strong to blunt? Not bad. Santa Hat helps a lot here. Ring of Demise. Yeah, we have it. Let's see. Bosses will just do good damage on turn one. At least he can do Sky Reverse twice, right? He can. He can. At least that. Uh, we have to inherit Luna Fulgur. I guess we are good. Which boss you trying here, Sher Oh, Yakru, I'm trying... Uh, what's the name of this guy? We're gonna check the name of this guy. I believe it's that blunt one. Burva. Just for uh, testing. Seems like he has guard up, so maybe we should evade him. But since he attacks with Blunt, I'm trying to bring a, a party that decreases damage for Blunt. Besides Matter. So, sorry, besides Madeline. Madeline is weak to that. We debuffed his Endurance, that's nice. Ah, this attack is. Oh, forgot. <laughs> we barely did damage here. Hello, Eileen. Welcome. How are you? That ain't good. Why am I using Xenon? Because it's weak to sun, but that attack was not sun. That's useless. I wonder if a counter strategy will work, at least for the 700,000 reward. You need to reach 700,000 with all? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to know if we would evade, but it seems like no. Forget about it. Forget about this. Bourbon and Acne drive me insane. Yeah, Bourbon is too much. Needs to do a mental run of him. Knockout. Yeah, it's stupid. Mano would be better. So the highest damage on Auto that I was running. Let me see. The problem with the and black is his agility. But I don't remember he doing as much damage as the other ones. I mean, everyone does high damage, but as much as in black. <clears throat> yeah, shower's probably the best one. Yes, indeed, Capivar, you need to take showers. 
It's the best way to live. <laughs> <clears throat> My gas is so far, 550 out on black. Problem is that he attacks with just so many different stuff. Let's run the auto setup again, just to check. That's right, stop fighting this boss, go take a shower. <laughs> so you can relax, shower, relax. And today I woke up with my... I don't know what's the name of this. Uh, outside the normal placement. It's hurting a lot. In the end, we kind of don't need to bring Rofus here. Four hundred thousand. The shoulder, yes. It's elephant super well in black. Yeah, we're gonna test the elephant. <clears throat> <clears throat> to hammer roll guarantee yeah that's what i was trying to show when i was running and he managed to kill the elephant by focusing on the elephant and i think it should be nice to use the elephant also with you know leon because leon will get you know <laughs> to a little higher hp Sag, yeah, Sag, totally Sag. <laughs> the game is changing, guys. Is it for better? Is it for worse? I don't know. I like some challenges, I must say. But I wonder if that's too much. Just like Doug was saying, people were reaching 700,000 and feeling victorious in JP. But I guess they also had lower status. I don't know. They also changed some of the boss status in global. Oh yeah, we got 700,000 on this one, Alta. I don't know if it was the second party. We shoot it. Just can't focus on a single character. I was using Madeline here as well, but I don't know if I need her. Maybe if I bring Leon, everyone deals more damage on start. And he will help Rook deals two nukes. That's important here. 700,000 is the most guarantee. They are using Shira, Rofus, Elephant, Lysan, and M. Lee. Emilia. You are also using the Global Axe Emilia with Bullet Dance. I think I can get 800,000 with Leon here now. Let's see. Instead of Rock, we can also bring Polka. The latest Polka has insane damage. Oh no, wrong setup. He got stunned before using Steel Blade Light. Ah, yeah, now he has Imperial Glory. Should increase Imperial Glory to 16. The thing is, he likes to focus fire. It's more about single target damage than AoEs. Hammer roll. 
in that combo even. That's good. Forgot Rock can deal lightning. Maybe I'll use her instead of Shira. Yeah, we got 700,000. Just like before. A little more than the best score. But can we get more than 10 drops? Just for curiosity? Maybe. We can do something better here as well. Let's change the BP cycle of Leo. Let's get uh, Imperial Glory increase it. If he gets stunned and he still uses Steel Blade Light, he does not get killed, that is. Not so sure about Liza, but what else can we bring here? Not much. Oh yeah. We can also change the... Mage we use. Let's test uh, Polka then. Or Joe. Joe buffs the party by 5%. Where's that polka? Finally a time to use him, now let's use him. Where is he? I thought I would get better damage on Shuzu since Slash is my strong point, then Shuzu happening. <laughs> I'm hating Arachne, it's on, I'm officially a haters now. Oh, I can see. Maybe I don't need Rofus. Yeah, and maybe you don't. Now where is Polka? Here. But how far is he from being capped? No, not so much it seems. Polka Lingwood. Xenon can cycle grid fall if you want to use that for some dexterity. I don't think I have the latest Xenon. But that grid fall, you mean the 6 VP attack? It may not be so good. There is a 3 VP attack with his latest style that single target deals good damage. But that I don't have. Let's see how Pokus deals. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Man, I tried with Rock instead of the new Buny doing less damage. Gonna swap back. The new Buny? Against in black? We're gonna use her blunt attack? Oh, why am I using Bow Trower again? That worked fine. <laughs> On nine tenacity. See, it's not a guarantee that he can use that row attack. Cause these things can happen. He can just focus fire. He said it's time to kill you. But at least 600,000 is an achievement as well. Ain't that bad. 
And <laughs> black is still me, yes. <laughs> he wants to be the protagonist. Remember, currency stones exist. 15% more damage. Doesn't matter if you miss. I think it's better to just uh, choose a different formation and different characters than to change my stones. I'm too lazy for that. Let's see how much damage we do now with uh, Bullet Dance instead. The whole game is mean since I got back into it. <laughs> it was always like that. It is just increasing even more. Did the SCR plus dexterity change for a currency kick in already? Not yet. We need a new update for that. So, um, if you want, you can also replace Leon and bring Sif. Sif buffs SDR and dexterity. She will help. Poker is doing a little more than Rock, but not that much more. But Polka by himself did double the damage of Liza. See? He, he missed it. Maybe it's better to bring Sif in the loft position. I find Ajiri such an important status now, and I hate that fact. Because we were debuffing with Emilia, so we had higher accuracy. Instead of bringing Leon, I'm gonna bring Sif. So if I die fast, it doesn't matter. Sif will fix this. Had Scrum Guard. Eileen got hit for almost 2,000 damage. That was my joke about Scrum Guard being broken. Ah, I see. I gotta go already. Good night and good farm, everyone. Thanks for staying up, Jungle. Have fun and see you later. I find that it's such an important status and I hate that fact. I'm using Aldora on the love position. Aldora. You love Aldora then? Mm, we got gold pieces. Yumi. Those bosses are more joke than Scrum Guard. <laughs> I think if you can try all things to resist here, it's not a thing. You should just focus on damage. Imagine using Tiger's Den here. They will attack before and kill you before you even act. <laughs> oh, man. Seems like Sif will fix my problem. Seems like. Maybe. Sif, you are the best platinum unit. I capped her, so I'm pretty f happy with that. And after she uses that attack, I will... Force her to use something like Whale. It barely changes anyway. Let's see if you fix my problem, Sif. Let's hope you do. Aldora is very Aldorable. <laughs> Counter seems good in black. How much is good for you? Tell me that if you can reach 700,000 by counter. Understandable if you are a new player. Don't feel discouraged if you cannot get the best results. We are 100 of hours of grinding ahead of you. Yes. If we cannot, it's just that the game just wants to punish us now. Vibrato Strike. They buffed my SDR. That's because I got it. Well, this is good as well for those that don't have Leon. We are close to 500,000 now. Not bad at all. Thankfully, man, black miss less. Oh, he just stunned my my little elephant.
If only you had bullet dance. <sighs> Seems like debuffing agility may be better. But we'll do less damage. The thing is, you want to guarantee two turns of damage? Or do you want to live longer? Sip guarantees that I get past 600,000. I want damage, but maybe not worth the chase. Yeah, thanks for the stream share. Good night, I'll leave Arachne and Berber for tomorrow. Thanks for appearing, DJ. Uh, I hope to see you soon. I'll play a little more, at least half an hour. Just accepted my score, get the gems and leave. Step straight up, miss it, bro. Yeah, <laughs> she's buffing the party, but she herself cannot even hit. I'll try a little of a shower, like uh, Capivara says. Yeah, I know, man. I'm around 300,000, 400,000 on getting past. That is gonna be really hard. It's gonna. At least this is raids. They are made to kill us in three turns. Now let me try again against the the guy I forgot the name, the Capvar says it's shower. I swear I sh saw Cher shed a cheer watching the stunned elephant. <laughs> Dumbo. Poor Dumbo. <laughs> uh, Steel and Black's my highest score. Let me see Shu, uh, this guy here. What's his name? Shuzzer. Shuzzer. What I was bringing to him? Ah, uh, he's weak to Slash and Shadow. Did I try a second squad? I did not. Shover. Slash and Shadow. The other one, it's also weak. I just hope this is the first and last time seeing that remove buff. Man, track is trembling. It's not the last time. It's not the last time. You have to be um, used to that. Ah, Duck says, come on, Dash, toss in a little poison weakness or something. Yeah, it's at least something like. Why do we have status ailments if we cannot inflict them? Slash and Shadow. Let's focus on Slash and Shadow. You play JP, Zach Roke? Oh yeah, using Saruin guarantees a very high damage right on start. And what about also bringing this little boy here that deals good damage when paired up Bertrand? And what about bringing Leon that also increases damage on turn one? Now, what about... what else? Rofus, they also use a slash on the exposition. So we're only left with an agility slot that I was using Gwen. Yeah, now I just watched some videos. You watch? I don't watch them. Sometimes I wish I, I, I did. It will make more sense for me. Now, we can use someone to buff the party right on the start so that we can do more damage, but who can do that? Uh, we have Leon, Bertrand, Sarin. Sif uses Slash, yes. Why not Sif? Can Sif hit this enemy? I want damage on turn 1. Oh man, so guard up and death boost is good in JP now. Especially if we can stack, we can. But there's better support characters, like... Uh, I know a lot of people like Gwen, and he's not bad. But in JP, they have other alternatives as well. There is a version of JMU that also has, uh, I think, Guard Up or Defense Enhancement. That's <laughs> one of the best support units in this game. I think I'm gonna at least make, fix the weaknesses of these characters. I'm thinking that 
This may be the best one. I drew a letter. Which equipment has the best dexterity here to help a little? Well, Matriarch Armor does not decrease dexterity, so it's cool. I have to bring this so that she can hit. And uh, Floral Heart Clip, who's using this? Who's using. Ah, Saruin, you are using that. Okay. Will buffs and Scrum Guard type abilities are good on JP? Yes, Scrum Guard, there's a Scrum Guard with that JMU that I was talking. Guys, boss removing buffs is good. Now we don't need Hollow Imprisonment <laughs> because they don't have. So we need more units like Saruin first passive. Yeah, Saruin decreases damage by a lot. Now we just change the BP cycle of things. Bertrand also. I guess we're good. Ah, forgot to change the order. Blue Princess Wars, uh, White Rose Supremacy? I don't think it's Supremacy. I don't think every boss will remove buffs, but some will. Yes, it makes no sense if they do this, just <laughs> remove the buffers in the game. Will we do enough damage now? If Sif does not hit the enemy, then I will remove her. Think about something else. Wayne was doing 50,000 in his agility slot. I tried healing, will and buff and curse in Wastelands. Stuck on stage 6 because my team is missing. Yeah. It's like that, man. 74,000. Uh, we did more damage before. We need to change this. The buffers are dead. Ailments, jammers are dead. Soon buffers are dead. Only styles left were chasing our boring DP. <laughs> Some better healers, maybe. No, this is not going well. This is not going well. Yuda is better than Rofus, I believe. Maybe not, because she will only be able to attack twice. If her PP uh, passive does not trigger, she will not even be able to follow up alarm. If she stays behind. Ah, 
I just survived to turn 10 against Bourbon and didn't hit 10, 700,000. You did it? <laughs> what were you using there? That's it. I'm going to do my dailies. <laughs> you use the, the, the Empress shield. <laughs> so this was the first one I was using. This is not much damage. <laughs> if everyone attacks, you get close to 450,000. He only removes debuffs on the end of his turn. If that's true, we can try to debuff at least a little. He's just removing debuffs again. And press shield plus parry tank and then rock and immediate times to do damage and they were doing damage. Just not enough. It's not enough to reach 700,000. Let's check something here. Do we have a boss that we can just debuff one status and survive? I mean, only one status is enough. Like, Shooter only uses physical types? Let's see this. And this is based on STR, 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 STR. Vulcan is based on Daxter, do you see? He has a gun. Where does he carry his gun? Even martial arts attacks. Oh man, we, we, <laughs> we have to debuff too many stuff. Let me get out of this and I'll check other bosses. Cop, but Copelia only debuffs STR. I was talking about the. This, if this, there is a boss that we can focus a single status, like, it only depends on a single status. That's something that I also hate in this game. Bosses just have, <laughs> use all different status and you have to debuff too many status on a single battle. Uh, let's check in, in black here. I don't remember what it's this guy about. I think he only uses his words and spears. I think. That's true, we can just debuff his STR. And we can bring a Kupunsur. That won't be easy. Well, look. Great sword, great sword. A lot of great sword attacks. And then he does have Tackle. That's a martial arts attack. That also gets weaker by STR. Double Trust gets weaker by STR. Mega Trust is the only attack that does not get weaker by STR. He also has Lightning Crash, but this does not kill. Gets close to killing, but doesn't. So yeah, it seems to be one of the best ones for you to just focus on the buffing STR. If you have a party of people that use a Kupuntur Plus, it may even work well if they are fast enough. We need one agility debuffer as well. He only cleans on the end of turn, so two Akupuntur Plus, which is... <laughs> make him cry in the corner. Building Shirak only debuff two, I think. We will be debuffing his STR, but it will be with Akupuntur Plus. Shuver, Shuver. Let's make another team with the name of Shuver here. Shuver. Oh no, it's this one is in black. And black and black. So, uh, Matchwork, Akupuntur Plus, you have to work as well, and Minerva. And where is my Minerva here? I didn't train her enough. 
But he's not weak to pierce. Oh yeah, you are right. He's not weak to pierce. Forgot about this little part. He's weak to what again? Blunt? He's weak to blunt at least, right? Bone breaker. Bone crusher. Bone crusher debuffs STR, but it's a bad attack. You know who can debuff him? Polka. Uh, who can debuff his agility as well? Shira. But then we have two mages in the party already. And Cop. Copelia. She won't do enough damage. Oh yeah, Bart, not Polka. Polka buffs himself. Sadly, we don't have that good weapon to use with Bartelemy, but he does debuff SDR with Flame Magic. You can even just stick to use Flame Magic if you program him for that. He's weak to heat, right? Yeah. What other SDR debuffers we have? Shira. We can use Call Rush. So because uh, we don't get much damage with Bart anyway, we can even leave him on the lock position. So Shira, and of course we still have to use Rook to get high damage. I still believe the Leon works well. And now, which other character? Cop. Yes, Cop. Submission. Submission. But is it good enough for damage? I'm not so sure. So I think I'll just use Punishing Combo on first to do good damage. Leon, Rook, Shira, and Bart. Yeah. But who's using the next position again? <laughs> Maybe like this. Or maybe... Amazon Red X. Amazon Red X don't debuff Endurance, and I do believe the Rain Rangers does. My Max at Rook keeps missing Metal Black, what the hell? It does. My max at Rook also misses. Bart, double S weapons, still a little far away. Yes, it is. Who knows? Maybe they don't have high will. He doesn't have high will. Yes, that is true. You know what? There's a character that buffs SDR just by entering the fight. And <laughs> you're not going to like this. You're not going to like. And that one is Genie. Just by entering the fight. What about Cat? I don't remember if Cat does that as well. No, she does not. I don't train Genie since a long time ago. Genie has uh, Spurn 4. She can help right from the start. And then she will be able to use Bone Crusher right again. If she's on Agility position, that can help. Seems like he has very low will. Muta, he was happy, Genie, yeah? <laughs> Rainbow Rangers. I guess I'll just stick to Amazon Raid X with this in mind. You'll see. Once more, let's equip them all. 
also has to be equipment that don't decrease Rook dexterity because Rook is missing his attack. Okay, let's use Hermes shows with her. Hermes shoes. And uh, Coppelia is gonna use Kick Silvers. Bart. Metra gloves. Let's leave it like this. Does no Rook also have Bone Crusher? Does he? But not help. He has School Splitter, Rock Splitter. No, he doesn't have Bone Crusher. Incense is AoE, yes. Call Rush is single target. Scatter explosions will be removed. Flame magic. That should do it. Actually, we don't need to do damage for more than three turns, I guess. But let's do this. Let's see, we are also doing damage. While debuffing, it's not so bad. You know who has a uh, bone crusher? <laughs> Mayor. Mayor has. Oh, also, if I want to debuff right from the start. Though, let's get Rook on the front line, yeah. So that he goes first, before getting stunned or anything. Paulus! <laughs> debuff for Paulus. That follows the counters with Gong Ringer. And Gong Ringer is blunt. It's just that it's not so reliable, but it should be fun. Especially if you are doing a wrong run for 700,000. That shouldn't be that bad. We're gonna see the. Oh no! Well, let's see, we got a combo. <laughs> I need to fix this. Insane damage. Now that I'm debuffing his STR, he wants to use other attacks like Tiger Rampage. <laughs> I 
The second attack seems to have a higher accuracy. This didn't work well. I haven't checked your Rook video share, I'm gonna see it. Oh, thanks. Go watch it. Took me two days to make that one. This was not good. So the buffing is not so helpful, guys. We need to either debuff his agility so that he does not evade rook attack, or buff or dexterity so that we fix this problem. We don't have any character that debuff two things on the same time. We will get one that can debuff two things on the same time, and that character is... Uh, what's her name again? Dahao. Try Leonardo King Guard. If we're gonna try Leonard, we go for agility position for him. Like, instead of bringing Liza. We bring Leonard on the agility position. Maybe it's good. What do you guys think? I think we're gonna hit higher damage if we do that. Hey, does he? Welcome. Rolfus buffs Daxter. Yes, he does. He can. 10% is, is 10% enough. So instead of Copelia, uh, we just move Leon back to the law position. We just uh, remove Bartholomew and get what I was saying again, Leonard. There is at least one good thing about Leonard is that he can use a blunt attack after that. People that have this Noe Game Ryu can also use him here. Won't be so bad. You learn it's better because he also gives Morali up. Gotta use her enraged squid twice. So this The show armor that buffs Dax or T? No, no. Going back to dailies, this is too much, is it? Try Leonard King Guard, no, never mind. No, it's not exactly a bad idea if we go for Leonard here and then, yeah, like Odozi was saying, we bring Rofus because we just increased his damage output anyway. This makes so that Rook will never miss and also gets increased damage for two nukers in the party. This may be like the best idea. So that everything that happens later does not matter anyway. I think this would be the, the winning strategy. Just using mastery gloves. 
I think Rook was using, right? But we'll change that. Does not need that anymore. Instead of Shira, we'll bring another damage dealer. And who would that be? Our best mage. You know what? Actually, Joe increases damage by 5%, and this enemy is weak to sun and heat, right? So she will also do good damage. A rock deals more on the start. Boca will also do very high damage, even higher than Rock. The one that deals damage by himself is Boca. Purple is horrible. <laughs> it is. How do you guys think it's better to bring Rock? Uh, Boca? I believe Boca deals more damage. Pretty sure about that. Just trying it now. Yeah, yeah, Leonard buffs two turns. I thought it was stone one turn only. No, it's two. If I wanted to use Shira, I could just debuff his status. Like, oops. Changing the wrong character. Yeah. Power Rush has what? A damage. Let's run Shira first. Blue does a little less than Polka. He buffs Sun and Fire attacks, but the only one that he'll actually buff is Leon. And blue just start healing as well. You say, no, my friends are dying, let me revive them. While well, Poke is more, now let's burn it all. Shira is easy to operate. She is. He attacked before Leonard. That ain't so bad, guys. 440,000. I want to see the battle from now on. I forgot to inherit the attack that's blunt. Didn't change, he just killed it by lightning. Your max for hammer share? Uh, no. They have materials for that. Close to 700,000. Most crappers like KO. Close to 700,000, but not more than that. So it didn't really help. And Leonard missed it even with Rofus in the party. Some flash stones, please. Yes, I'm missing them. Maybe only on the next conquest. When they release weapons in our own shop like that, they don't give us mod stones. Flash stones, sorry. So, the attack that Leonard can inherit that deals blunt damage is knocked down. And let's remove Shira. I got full power. Full power. We do have plenty of options, but I believe that Polka deals more.
Deals around 100,000. Oh, 110,000 without Rokas. How could you deal more? Maybe 150 STR. Ah, my Rokas is overcapped. Now with Leonard buffing as well. Black just hit Rock with Lightning Crash. <laughs> Instant killing her. <laughs> Probably. Hey, and Black, are you the best option to fight? I don't know. Well, he's not on full HP anymore. I I'm hating full HP stuns, guys. I, I really believe I'll remove from all my characters. I'm getting sick of it. <laughs> That's not right. That's not right in black. And you know it. You did this before Polka could attack. So we could kind of get 700,000 in one turn here with good RNG, maybe. I don't know why, but I find the idea of Rook doing high damage to the enemies with a clarinet is pretty funny to me to me as well. Ah, close to 700,000, but not enough. But because Polka didn't attack. You know what? Let's equip a gun plus stone on Ropas. And I want to see 800,000 just to be sure that... Oh, we can't auto this. We can. Let's see if it tickets for nothing. You mean you can't auto 700,000? We can, believe me. We can. We did 758 already. So, Rofus, let's change your stone. Ah, actually, this one is already gone. All stones here are not full HP ones. Yes. My auto team is doing around 750,000 700, range. That's nice. That's exactly what I did. We are on the same levels then. But you haven't seen 800,000 yet? I haven't. Let's try this out. This will be the last strategy. It's already past midnight. Oh my god. Can we get 800,000, please? Just want to see if we get more drops. But that will be at least not good for many people or anyway. It's gonna reach as much as that. Ah, nice. Especially if we get combos, we can see 800,000. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! Take them, Black. Take that. <laughs> Looks like your height is out to 794. I guess I'm gonna beat that now. Three people are paralyzed. Maybe not. <laughs> I should have stopped in my mouth. Or maybe, yeah. We still have Rook, but he got a Dax or TD buff. Ugh. No! <laughs> I tried Light the Serenity. I brought Leonard because he buffs Guard up and what are up? Trying to survive a little. <laughs> Just because I wanted more damage. Capivara says my highest on auto was 800,000. You did it! Uh, can you get 11 chests from this or you didn't check? Oh, the fun has been drinking again. <laughs> again. 
<laughs> oh man, but when we get this new update that will uh, change the accuracy formula, you will not miss as much. That means it's painful. Yes, you were just ready to get. Well, we didn't get any combo here. But everyone is alive and well. Polka only attacked three times. <laughs> Even you, Leonard. Three thousand. Again, close to seven hundred thousand, but not quite. Hey, <laughs> didn't check. I probably got luck with my uh, human female. All hair are the red tickets. Red tickets? They will always drop one by every run. The currency update can come soon enough. My rook is also missing sometimes. Sad. Rook is stuck. Yeah, he survives. Red ticket drop once. You mean the skull decks? I think you were mentioning that. Ah, I want to see 800,000. Ah, we got a combo, maybe now. Please, five hits, Polka, please. Puh. Not the buffing Dexterity from the character that uses Dexterity to do damage. Five hundred thousand. We only need three hundred thousand more. We can do it. Hydra Rampage is just so much damage. I'm going to give this clarity net to my elephant so that he can play on your funeral. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You're all dead again. Leonard is drunk. He's missing it all. He only hits for uh, overflowing feelings. Because his attacks have different accuracy. They have an innate accuracy. Yeah. He really likes hitting Poco with the same attack. Tiger Rampage all the time. Now, the other uh, um, strategy that was good was that against the other character called Shovel. Shov I don't remember his name. It's not Shovel, it's something else. Look, even with Rofus, he missed it. <laughs> Not gonna miss him more. Maybe instead of bringing Leonard, it's better to just bring, you know, Matchwork with Shining Glory. <laughs> Bye, Ropus. Shoozer. <laughs> ah, Shoozer.
Yeah. He's dead. So far I cannot see myself changing the damage too much. With something similar. The other one that was almost as strong was against Shuzo. Can we break that one? Because this one, I can only see myself doing more damage if I bring Madly. Instead of Leonard. Shuzo. I even named it differently. <laughs> Set up running Sith. You're gonna run Madeline. But the other Madeline. Where is the other Madeline? This. Will Madeline miss you? No, 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 please no. Hey, Max Shang, welcome. How are you? Oh, who is using this weapon, the Kunshin? Ah, should be Leonard. What about Barb? Barb on Manual would be very nice. On Auto, not so much. Mm, I'm good to have an exam tomorrow, though. How are you, sure? Thanks for asking, I'm doing fine. And good luck with your exam tomorrow. Wish you all the best. Or Minstrel. Minstrel. Minstrel, it's metal as well. <laughs> At least for the, guard, uh, for the Moralia part. And I don't have means, bro. Never got a single one of his versions. Good luck on the exam, dude. Yes. No, he has his big eggplant. That big eggplant is about Moralia or Guarda, but I don't remember him well. What is the point of this? One he kills everywhere. Yes, every, every, everywhere. Ah, it's Morale, does he? Makes more sense then. Can be used on the agility position. But in that case, Leonard is similar, but who has the highest dexterity? Is that even possible? <laughs> we buffered her dex 3T. You gotta go, Tepu, and thanks for staying up. And have a good night, my friend. Rofus taking neck. P neck. <laughs> it's neck. <laughs> yes, my medley miss. It's good. That's why I ask. <laughs> why is she missing? Instrum Amber does club. Clubs have Daxorty as well. Uh, it's better on Daxorty for their attacks as well. What is wrong with Madeline? Why is she missing? Oh, maybe mine is not so maxed for Daxorty. 138 only. Let's run once more. This will be the last run, guys, but thanks so much for staying up to this point. It's already past midnight here. Midnight and 16. PM, AM, sorry, and copy. I tried. I'll make a video tomorrow about these things. Uh, she missed two hits.
Either your character has it on the X ready to not miss, or, well, good luck. Good luck. I don't understand why folks like Brownie have Dex plus styles. That's why, to get Dex ready faster. But guys, uh, it has been a pleasure. Thank you all for uh, staying up with me up to this point. And for all the support, before you leave, please hit the like button so that we can get more notifications sent to the next live stream. This really helps. Wait a week for the melee weapon accuracy buff. Yes, wait a week. They said it would be before the end of the month and it should be that. Well, Noite, good evening. Thanks, Luke. I didn't know you were here. But thanks for passing by. Bye bye, I'm gonna take a shooter. Ha <laughs> shower! It's a good time. Well, because everyone is a little stressed now. Spin attack. Is the spin attack the strongest attack the shooter has? Well, spin attack is not exactly that strong. We can survive that. So how do we survive it? Maybe he's the one that deals less damage? It seems like. YouTube turning off my notifications, that explains a lot. Oh yeah! Oh no. Don't forget for the like. Yes, thanks so much for seeing that, Hashimitsu. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for appearing, Zach. Good night, Solid Snake. Want an outfit like Chooser? <laughs> you wanna look like a cool dude from the 80s? You want to? <laughs> Oh, well, that's it. Neil said maintenance update is 31. So yeah, well, when the month is ending. I thought Wasteland Wars was bad, but this at least is just a damage counter, not a clear. Yes, it's just to kill you as soon as possible. I beat the crap out of these guys with Red and Saga Frontier too. Yeah, even in media fight that guy as well, if I remember. One of them, at least. Maybe I'm uh, forgetting. But Shizer has Dr. Okonogi Brain sort of in. I don't remember this stuff, man. Uh, I didn't play with Red on the remaster, so that's probably why I don't remember. But thank you all, guys. Thanks for the hints. Thanks for the, the tips, everyone. And have you all a good rest. Good night, good evening, good morning, I don't know. But it has been a pleasure. Hope to see you soon tomorrow. We are back for more content. Bye. Good night, Zach, Max, and Doug, and Eileen. I saw that. <laughs>